I want to show you how a marketing manager might use Dynamics 365 Business Central. We'll take a look at campaigns, contacts and customers. We'll take a look at interactions. We'll also do a quick integration. So let's get started. The point of view that I'm going to use in this demo is that the marketing objective is to gather, organize and manage leads and then prepare the leads and deliver the leads to the sales organization. We're going to create two campaigns. The first campaign is to create a campaign that will recognize interactions with new customers or new contacts that I just made at a recent trade show. Here's the first campaign card right here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to import all the new contacts into Business Central. And to do that, I'm going to use a configuration package. I'm going to use the configuration package right here. Let's open that up. You can see it's a fairly simple one. I'm just looking at one table down here, the contacts. The table ID is 5050. And all I need to do now is I'm going to import from Excel where I've got my contacts into this configuration package and then apply that package. So I'll import from Excel. Here's my Excel file right here. I'll import it. And I'm done with that part. We can take a look at the new records here. Click on this. This shows me all the new records that will be applied in this configuration package. And I don't have a lot of information on each lead. I basically have their email address and then their names. And the names are over here. So I'm going to go ahead and import this into Dynamics 365 Business Central. I'll apply the package. And now I have those new leads in Business Central. I don't need the configuration package anymore. Let's go back to the campaign card here. The main thing about a campaign is not so much the campaign card, but the segments that are part of it. And a segment is just a group of customers or contacts that are going to be part of the campaign. So let's look at the segments. Here are the segments. And again, the segments are just groups of customers or contacts. At this time, this is a brand new campaign. I don't have any segments in it. I don't have any customers. I don't have any contacts. So what I want to do is create a segment. And I'm going to create a segment for group of contacts that I just imported. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm setting up a new segment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a segment for each salesperson who has contacts assigned to them from that new group. So let's set up one for Robin. So to do that, I'll specify the salesperson code here. It's just this drop down. These are all the salespeople in my system. I'm going to specify an interaction template. Let's use that. I'm also going to send an attachment. So the first thing I want the salespeople to do is to reach out to the new contacts and offer them a discounted price on a specific item I've got set up for them. So to do that, I've got an attachment. The attachment is for this chair that I've got in my inventory. I'm going to offer this at a discount. So I'm going to select that. This attachment will go out with the emails when the salespeople send emails to the new contacts. So I've got that set up. I'm going to put a subject in for the new email that salespeople will send out. And I got that here. So now all I need to do is I need to add contacts. It's easy to do. I'll hit add contacts. It brings up this dialog box. In this dialog box, there's a lot of filters that I can select the contacts or the customers that I want in this group, I want in this segment. So first of all, I'm going to specify the salesperson, Robin Betancourt. And I have another filter I want to use. All the contacts that I just imported into Business Central were tagged with a specific number series. So I'm going to look that up. Here's the field right here. And the value is lead. So let's select that. These are the filters I'm going to apply just for this segment. Now fills in all the contact information here. We can scroll over, you can see that it's gonna be an email, is what I want them to first send out. And you can see the subject. So I've got this segment done, so I can close out of that. And what I wanna do is I wanna add a segment for each salesperson I want involved in this campaign with the associated contacts. So I'm gonna do that offline, I'll be right back. And now I have three segments assigned to this particular campaign. Again, a segment is a group of contacts in this case. I've assigned them to specific salespeople. A campaign is really set up to organize information, 
specifically organized contacts and customers that you want to use for your marketing. The real activity takes place at the contact level. And what I've decided to do in this campaign is I'm going to take these contacts, I'm going to distribute them to each of these three salespeople, and they'll do the activity for me. Part of this campaign is not only the segments or the groups of contacts that I have in here, but also the discount that I want to offer to these new contacts. I can set that up here, go to price and discounts. Here's an item that I'm going to offer the discount on. It's a single item. I'm going to give them a 10% discount on this. The normal price is $191. This is going down to $171. So I'm going to use this pricing. It's been activated. That's what this little trigger means here. So if a sales quote is put in for any of these contacts in this campaign, they will automatically get that discounted price on their sales quote. But let's go back to the segments and look at a specific salesperson. So this is Benjamin. This is a segment I set up for him. I've now distributed this to Benjamin. I said, Benjamin, these are new contacts. I would like you to go out and contact each one of these. You can do that by email. It's easy to do. I've pretty much set it up for you. I've got the attachment. I've got a template that you can use. So Benjamin goes, well, that's great. Let's do that. So Benjamin can easily work with this list. These are the five contacts I want him to reach out to via email. You can select the contact, go to log, it brings up this dialogue. I set this up to go one email at a time so that the salesperson can look at the email and find out more information on the contact if he wants to. So I'm going to use a word template here. This one has been previously created. So I'm going to go up here, use that, I'm going to select this one. This is for new contacts that just came into our organization. I've got a template here. Scroll down. And we can see the attachment here. So this is the attachment. I'm going to send that out to the new contacts. So all you need to do here is send email. So that email was sent out to the new contact and included the attachment. It also added an interaction to the contact. So I can see that in the history of that particular contact. So let's set up a new word template to see if we might use that as well. I can say use word template bring up this dialog box. And what I want to do is create a new one. And I want to create a new one for a contact. So I'll do that. I'm going to download the blank template. Let's take a look at it in File Explorer. Here's a zip file that was downloaded from Business Central. What I want to do is I want to expand that. Here's a file extracted. It also includes a data source, which is basically a list of fields that are in the contact record that I can use in the contact template. So let's open this up in Word. I'm in Word here. So what I can do here is I can add the text that I want in the template. I can add fields as well from the contact record. So let's have a quick opening. Go to Mailings, and I've got the fields right here that I want to use. And what I want to use is the first name. Select that, and I'll type in a little text here. So I've got a nice little note here. But what I want to do is I want to have Copilot take a look at the text to maybe make it a little better. It's easy to do. Let's go up here. You can see Copilot right here. I'll rewrite with Copilot. Copilot comes up with three options. I like this one. This one's all right. I like the first one. So I'm going to go back to the first one. I'm going to replace it. I like that. And I'm going to save this now as my new template. I can use that going forward. So creating a template is really Before we continue, if you like this type of content, the best way to support us and to help others find this content is to subscribe to our channel, activate the notifications, and share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for helping us grow this channel. Let's get back to the demonstration. All right, let's move on to a second campaign. I've got a new campaign I started. It's for existing customers. And what I want to do is I want to select customers who have previously purchased a specific item from me and then offer them two new items that I've got in my inventory. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's a new campaign right here. This is going to be for existing customers. I need a segment for it. So let's create a segment of existing customers. It's going to be a new segment. And what I want to do is I want to just select customers who have previously purchased a conference table. I will assign this group to my inside salesperson. 
Jim Olive. So I've got this set up. I don't have an attachment yet, so I'm gonna create that. I'll show you how I'm gonna create that and use information in Business Central to do that. But first of all, I wanna add contacts for this particular segment. I'm gonna add customers in this case. And what I wanna focus on is customers who have purchased this item in the past. So I'm gonna hit that, hit OK. And it shows me the customers who have purchased this in the past. So this is perfect. It focuses on a small group of customers. I can send this to my inside salesperson and he can get on it right away. So what I wanna do now is I wanna create an attachment that I can send out to these customers that'll show them the two items that are brand new to our collection. So to get that information, I'm gonna go into Business Central find the items I want to include on this, and then copy information from the item. The first item I want to include on my brochure is this London swivel chair. So let's open that up. So I don't have a lot of information on this particular item. I've got a title basically and a picture. I can copy the picture right from here. I can paste it into my document, but I still need more information. So what I want to do is go back to Business Central. If I scroll down here, I can see that this item has a number of attributes. And this is good because I can use Copilot to give me a better description of this particular item. So let's go in here, I'm gonna create a draft. And this is a pretty good description. I can change this if I want to, but you know, I'm gonna keep it. I can copy it, put it into my Word document. I'm gonna do that. Then my intention was to put another item in here too. So let's do the same thing with this item. I want to also introduce this new desk I have to my clients. So I'm gonna take a picture of that too. Copy that image. This item also has attributes already assigned to it. Does not have a description. Let's go ahead and create one with Copilot. This is okay, but let's regenerate it. See if it comes up with something better. I like this one better. It's more exciting. So I'm gonna take this, add that to my brochure. So here's my brochure. I've used word formatting to make it look a little bit better. I've added opening text, but you know, I think I can make this better. So I'm gonna use Copilot again to suggest a better introduction. I like this one slightly better, plus it corrected a typing error, so I'm gonna replace this. And I kinda of like this now, so I'm gonna save this. Here's a PDF version. What's nice about this, I can easily go back and change it if I want to, but I'm gonna send this out just like this. Let's go back to the segment. This segment has been assigned to the inside salesperson. I want him to reach out to all those existing customers who have purchased the conference table in the past. I'm gonna look up the brochure that we just created right there. I've got these existing customers, I filtered in there. And then as a salesperson, I wanna go ahead, I'm gonna send out emails to each of those contacts in my list. Send the attachment. Also wanna create a follow-up segment. What that means is once the segment has had interactions on it, the segment goes away. Unless I said create a follow-up segment, so we'll do that. So I'm gonna use this existing word template and the attachments there. This is the one that we just created. Go ahead, send the email. Again, the reason I wanna do this is I want the salespeople to look at each contact, get more information if they need, or modify the template, and then send it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and send these out. So that segment that I just used to email is now gone, but it's been replaced with another one. And again, in the campaign, all the activity takes place in the segments. And the segments are collections of customers or contacts. So another thing I can do with a segment is create opportunities off of it. Let's do that. So here's my segment again. These are the four customers that are part of it. And what I wanna do is I wanna create opportunities for them. I'm gonna go ahead and create the opportunities. And now I've done that. I took the customers that were in that segment, created new opportunities for all of them. This may not be something you wanna do from an opportunity management standpoint, but it's available. And the point is it's really available at the segment level. The campaign is merely just to track all the activity. If we go back to this campaign, there's one report here, we can take a look at this. This shows all the activity on the campaigns I have in my system at this time. You can see there's a lot of detail here. It shows you the dates everything happened. And here's a segment that we were just working with. So what I showed you in this demo was how a marketing manager might use Dynamics 365 Business Central. We looked at campaigns. We looked at how to create contacts by importing them, how to work with segments or groups of customers and contacts, how to create an email template, how to create interactions. In this case, we created interactions with emails. And I also showed you how to create opportunities from a segment.